Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for you today, baby. We got for you, here's me talking about Warzone delaying season two for another two weeks. I'm gonna say at the front of this, obviously there's a lot of bugs and glitches in Caldera, and I want them to take their time and make sure that the game is good before they release it. That being said, it seems to be a trend where it doesn't really matter how much time there is. Typically, something isn't going well. If you enjoyed this, drop a like, share, and sub if you've not yet. But most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Everyone's saying Call of Duty and Ravensoft just tweeted. <sighs> Announcement, Vanguard and Warzone Pacific season two delayed. Am I a spoiled brat? Am I spoiled? I might be, I might, I, okay. We've rescheduled the start of season two across Warzone and Vanguard to February 14th, 2022. Man, thanks for putting that in there. I thought it was gonna be 2023. We'll use this added time across to, de to develop, to fix game stability, as well as bugs to ensure an overall level of polish for players and deliver updates, including optimizations to gameplay. Dude, I just, I feel like I'm in a relationship where the other person does not care about me. I really do. That's how I kind of feel now. I, I do. It's like, I want, like Warzone, I want to love you. And it's like, you don't care about me. You don't care. Why don't you care about me, dude? Status report, Call of Duty community update. An ongoing commitment to improving your gameplay and experience. Okay. Currently, our community is experiencing across Call of Duty, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare. We feel your frustrations and we hear you loud and clear. Apparently we're not loud enough. To date, we've deployed a number of updates, but more needs to be done. What? Dude, I, okay, am I gonna get toxic here? I don't wanna get toxic. For this reason, we have decided to reschedule the start of season two to February 14th. We'll use this additional development time to deliver updates, yada, 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 polish, blah, blah. Upcoming implementations will address several concerns raised by the community and other quality of life improvements, adjusting the core gameplay, loot mechanics, and balance is continuing an important focus. Fixes will apply to your platform of choice, two generations of consoles and PC, as well as gameplay in general across all five systems. Vanguard and Warzone Pacific, two, Pacific Season 2 delay. The expected launch date is February 14th instead of February 2nd. Okay, how many more? So it's 12 more days. So it's almost a two week delay. This will show how we continue balancing more communication to come. Going forward, you can expect to hear from us more. That's good. Often regarding Call of Duty state of play. Studios remain focused on continually improving, continuously improving your game experience. We value your community feedback. We frequent and detailed communication updates will be posted here and on Call of Duty channels. When did Caldera come out? Was it December? I can't even remember. December, right? Early December. December, January, February. So it's basically three months until uh, a new season. <sighs> Here's what I hear. Okay. I'm not going to be that toxic. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this in a very professional manner. All right. My frustration is. I think, and I think I'm speaking for a lot of the Call of Duty community here, the updates are what keep the game fresh, right? I think that's a fair statement. When when you update and you, you change stuff and there's different things and there's new content and some new guns and oh, we have a new POI, stuff like that makes things more desirable. It keeps it fresh. I think the biggest issue is this. I think Fortnite has completely and utterly ruined me. And what I mean by that is Fortnite, here's what I'll say. Fortnite's updates, Fortnite's changes are on a much more significant scale than Call of Duty. I think most of us agree with that. Yeah, fair. So when there's changes, right to something those changes are typically pretty big and for that matter they're so well polished why can't my game do that as well why can't the game that i really do love which is warzone why can't my game 
update like that and have changes like that so smoothly. Obviously, Epic has something figured out, right? I, what is Epic's evaluation? How much is Epic worth? Maybe this is a money thing. How much is Epic Games worth? Epic Games, as of April 2021, the company is at a 28.7 billion. Okay. How much is Activision technically owns this right now? It's not fully switched over to Microsoft yet. How much is Activision worth? Six, 60, 60. Is that $64 billion? Bro, how does it, okay, I'm pretty stupid. All right, I am, fair. But how does a company that has, let me do math, has double the money do a fourth of the job of updating and keeping stuff fresh? Oh my God. Dude, it has to be something on the back end. It has to be, it, it's the only thing I can think of. It has, it can't be a money thing. It can't be because Activision has way more money. And to be fair, Activision does have more games than Epic. Fair, that's a fair point too. They have Fortnite, but they have some other stuff too. But let me just, uh, let me give you an example. When I was playing Fortnite the other day, I was talking to Jack and Jack told me that there was a, uh, there was a new hack in Fortnite where people were flying around with aimbots and epic had it fixed in under two days i haven't had it happen to me yet but i saw in warzone there's flying cars i haven't seen that yet but myself but i have seen clips of it and i just wonder how long it's going to take for something like that to get fixed i i, I think part here's one, one thing i will say too part of the issue i do think is everything that's going on with Activision. Meaning what's happening in their workspace. Uh, the company is obviously going through it right now. It's like all the games across the board of Activision are kind of struggling right now. I think that's a fair statement, right? You got, you got um, World of Warcraft, rough spot. Diablo 4, haven't heard anything about it. Overwatch 2, haven't heard anything about it really. And it's like, to, in, in their defense, Activision definitely has a lot happening with everything that's going on in their workspace. And then on top of that, even though no matter how much money they got, it's like there's across the board, all the games are kind of in a rough spot. I think that's why I'm so hopeful for this Microsoft thing, low key. I don't know about you all, man, but it's like, that's what gives me hope about this Microsoft thing is the hope is they can really I hope that Microsoft comes in. Here's my hope. Whether or not this happens, I don't know. I hope Microsoft comes in and they just kind of make it a space where, like, I hope Blizzard can keep working on the games and stuff and just kind of making it, make, giving them more, what's the word I'm looking for? More of a resources. That's kind of the word I'm looking for. More resources to kind of get everything under control because right now, stuff like this man it's just so disappointing to see like we're all obviously i'm excited for season two and the changes are going to come and now i have to wait another two weeks on top of that maybe i do just sound like a spoiled brat maybe i do i, I do kind of sound like a spoiled brat am i do i sound are we just like spoiled af maybe i may i i, I literally think it's like fortnite was serving me like the, it's like fortnite invited me to a party Here's, here's how I feel. It's like Fortnite invited me to a party and the party had a bunch of people walking around with uh, caviar and perfectly cooked shrimp uh, appetizers. And they said, uh, what would you like to drink, sir? We have top of the line, everything. And then I'm like, I'll have Bud Light. And they're like, okay, we can get that for you still. And then it's like, and then I sit down and, and I have this seven course meal and they were all laughing about how great life is and haha man being at epic games is so good and it's so good to be here first round first course comes in it's like a, a, a deep fried cornbread because they know i'm fat you know what i mean and they just keep giving me stuff i like you know and then second round it's like all right tim here's a bacon cheeseburger half fried you know and then it's like okay tim third course tomahawk steak and it's like they just kept they, they just, and I'm just sitting there and I'm just eating it up. I'm eating it up. And I'm like, dude, this is so good. I love this. This party 
is great. That's what Epic invited me to, right? And that's what I got used to. Then Activision or Blizzard invites me to a party. And I walk in and it's like, I walked into this house and they're like, hey, what's going on? Uh, some beer in the fridge and we have day old bread from Jimmy John's. No offense to Dale Brett from Jimmy John's. I lived on that in college. No offense, but but it's like I, I, it's I got spoiled, bro. I got I got it's just like what I'm used to with Epic and how they constantly updated and changed stuff in Fortnite. I got so used to it, and now I don't got that anymore, bro. I need to get off this tangent. I'm disappointed though, to say the least. I'll say that. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. The only reason I'm disappointed is because like there's whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm done. I'm moving on. Hey, Tim, they fired a portion of the QA team last month. No wonder they have to delay the game and it's complete ass. What's QA, bro? Question and answer team? They have a, they have a question and answer team? What are you talking about? Quality assurance. Also known as making stuff work correctly. So the team that makes things work correctly, they fired that team. That's, that's fucking great. Yeah. Oh, dude, Microsoft, please just save me. Just give me something, please. Just give give them a QA team at the very least, please. Bro, how do you fire the the team that makes the make sure the game is working properly? Oh, brother. Oh man, down bad right now. Guys, I didn't know what QA meant. I'm moving on. <laughs>